This video is an analysis of Virginia Woolf's Slater's Pins Have No Points. I'll be focusing on various things that jumped out at me from doing the reading. Um, first off, um, the characters um, Julia and Franny were embracing new found female freedoms. Um, at the time this was written, it was following uh, the Industrial Revolution. Uh, most of which women went to work in factories. It was also post-World War I. Most of the time, women stayed at home and tended to the family while men worked and provided bread for the table. Um, repetitive words that stuck out to me were flower, childless, uh, marriage, and money. Um, flowers are known to be delicate. In the an example in the text, and she picked up the carnation which had fallen onto the floor. While Franny searched for the pen, she crushed it and felt voluptuously, and her smooth veined hands took about with water colored rings set in pearls. The pressure of her fingers seemed to increase all that was most brilliant in the flower to set off set it off to make it more frilled, fresh, and immaculate. Later on, she goes on to say she had her hands on it. She pressed it, but she felt, but she did not possess it, enjoy it entirely altogether. Another word that came up frequently would be that Julia did not have any ch uh, children or childless. Julia doesn't have any children. She wasn't used to having young children around. In the text, um... It stated that the Crays did not, uh, were not used to children. Um, none of them ever married, but they kept pets and they knew uh, things better than anybody. Um, one time, there was a child that actually was visiting the Crays. And One time there was a child visiting the craze. One time there was a child visiting the craze and they were startled to have her around. They weren't used to her running around. Um, another word that came up would be marriage. Um, and how... Another word that came up would be marriage and how women at the time were expected to be married. If Rennie wasn't married, she claimed that it is the use of men to protect women. And Franny went on to say that she didn't want protection from men. Um, at the end, Franny wondered if Julia was lonely naturally. Um... For example, naturally, but perhaps foolishly, one pitied her for the things she never asked for pity for. One pitied her for always being alone. Was Miss Cray lonely? No, Miss Cray was steadily, blissfully, and if only for the moment, a happy woman. So she was happy being alone. She was happy not being married. She was happy not having children. Another word that came up would be money. Her brother was an archaeologist. And she came from a wealthy family. Throughout Wolf's selection, um, there were mere moments screwed across multiple paragraphs. Brian was constantly looking for the pins and didn't find them till the end of the selection. She also started her paragraphs in similar ways, mainly using a main dialogue point that was brought up earlier in the selection. To me, this is odd and unusual and repetitive. Most writers don't particularly begin their sentences of their paragraphs like this. And also, the point of view changed multiple times. Um, our point of view seemed in third person at times and in first person at times. So, uh, 